What's going on everybody? Super Saiyan Paul here back at once again. Today we're playing some more Jack 2 with the HD collection. And today I'm inside. No, I'm not trying to do the chorus record. What I'm trying to do here is get some more ammo because we're gonna need it, everyone. Let me just look at the ammo I have so far. Damn, I use a lot of scatter shots on crew. The Vulcan, I have a decent amount, and this should be a good amount. Um, I'm not gonna do any of these courses. If you guys remember my the, my method of doing things here... Oh, God. People are getting blasted to shit out here. Maybe I should just collect some Dark Eco. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you can help me out with this. I actually might die because I have low HP. I'll take the ammo. I thought he was going to give me some Dark Eco. Give me this. The one time I can get away with this, I'm taking it. You ain't going to do shit. But yeah, my method of doing those courses is get unlimited ammo. Once you have unlimited ammo, damn, that guy almost crashed into me. You'll be able to do these courses with ease. So we're going to be heading to the underport. There is one precursor orb down here, and it's very easy to find. And then there's two more before we have to collect the very last set for the metalhead. So the last set of the metalheads are seven. So there's basically three outside of that nest. And remember, guys, once you reach that metalhead nest, it's all final right there. If you miss any orbs in the metalhead nest, you'll never get it back. So we are in the Titan mech suit. And yes, it does need us to get air, which I didn't understand at all for making sense wise. Let's just get out of here without dying, please. Some people don't like this mission because they said it was unfair. I don't know. I never really viewed this one as a challenging one. All right, let's get around these mines. Metal headers! I have 188. Uh oh, it's beeping. I need oxygen. I need oxygen. Can you attack me so I can kill you? Wait, did I kill it? I killed something. And. It dropped me in this room. Okay. This room is not where the precursor orb is. I think it's in the next drop. I might die. Okay, this might be a little unfair. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Yeah, I'm Jack. I don't die. That way. I got one hit on me. I don't want to overheat and get this thing exploded, you know, because this is the Megazord. You don't want to mess with the Megazord. I am a Power Ranger. Ah. 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 I don't even want to bother with these metalheads. Look at how much damage he does. Holy shit. Where the hell's the path? Is it... Is, ah! Why does the suit have to be so big? That's what she said. Yeah, all right, man. All right, we got to destroy these platforms or whatever's holding them. Let's not die. Not all these platforms up. Let's take this pad and head to the top. Come on, give me the oxygen. Oh yeah, I like this camera. Why is my oxygen okay? I was about to say, bro. I was flying outside of this thing, and this camera angle sucks. Oh jeez. Why is it top down? That camera angle absolutely screwed me right there. Hold on. Give me an angled camera perspective, thank you. So hard to turn in the suit. There's the orb, you can actually see it. The only orb here, everyone. So all of our problems are basically done once we grab this. Area complete. Just getting that orb out of the way is the main task for me. The mission is another thing on its own. You just don't want to miss any orbs because backtracking sucks. No! Are you... Uh, why? All right, we made it back. Let's just walk through here without dying. Please don't grab me. Please don't grab me. Chances are they're going to grab me and I'm going to die. Okay, now I can see why people hated this mission so much. Let's just keep moving. Ignore the metalheads. They've already rampaged my city. They can take everything else. Just don't kill me. Oh, yeah. Mega jump. Oh, oh wow. I did that jump blindly. I really just jumped because I was like, you know what? I can use the physics and use them to my advantage. Just the exit. Don't grab me, metalhead. Don't grab me, metalhead. Don't grab me, metalhead. Please don't grab me. Please don't grab me. Please don't grab me. Don't grab me. Yes! Ah, <sighs> We made it, guys. Let's get the hell out of the suit. At least I have full HP. That's the only benefit I got to dying. But anything else I can deal with. And... It's our boy, Sig! 
I should have rolled. I should have rolled. I should have rolled. I know that. Finders keepers. Here we go. Hey there, tough guy. Get your skinny ass over here and start shooting. Man, was I set up. Crew sent me down here to open some old doors with that ruby key you found. And when I did, metalheads came streaming in from some passage outside the city walls. Just like they were waiting for me. There's one. Crew's dead. Yeah? Well, he's lucky. Because he would not want me to catch him alive. The metalheads must have promised Crew plenty for him to betray the whole city like this. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we have to get out of here. Look at this. What is this? Some ancient scriptures here? Alright, Zig. We're gonna push both of these onto the platforms here. Don't let them explode. I love these Zig tag team missions. Let's go. We need some Jack and Daxter tag team. We had it in Ratchet and Clank deadlocked. Did you hear something? All right, let's keep moving. Don't want to die. Not really. I'm pretty far away, but watch me eat my words before it eats me. Okay, yeah, he's gaining. He's gaining for real. At least it's the easiest part. I think that's the last we'll see of him. This tag team, though. Yeah, man. I always love this tag team. This is why I love this game so much. And you take these things for granted, honestly. Did they even have tag team moments like this in The Lost Frontier? I don't even remember. Ugh. Okay. Where's the metalheads? I heard them. Oh, God. I screwed up already. I think I screwed this up big time. Great. No time to celebrate. Wait, let me get these gems. Oh, Sig putting in that work. I'll take it all. All right, let's go. Great. Here comes that bad boy again. Move! Knowing some of you guys, you guys could probably get through this while jetboarding. But I ain't gonna risk it because like right here, you see this? You wouldn't be able to make that. I don't know. Unless you were fast enough to jump on with SIG and do some badass stuff. Remember back when YouTube had video responses, you guys used to send me a whole bunch of stuff of like how you guys are able to do some of the coolest things in this game. But doing this on Jetboard, I don't know. Gone with the wind. Down we go. Keep moving. Ah, like the prison break. Rolling, okay. Baby. And over here. Let's go. We're almost to the elevator. Looks like we finally lost some chili peppers. Piece of cake, huh? Now you boys are real wastelanders. I say it's time we take this fight to the metalhead leader himself. What a trophy he'll make. We find a way to juice up Mars' old gun, and then boom, baby, we storm the nest, guns blazing. Hell, we'll take them all on together, you and me, side by side. Nothing will stop us, because we're... <laughs> Shit! So, uh, what's plan B? Unfortunately, we were not able to return the favor, and Sig went down. Sig was a badass character. I gotta say, he was probably... Would you... Would you guys say he's the most badass character in this game? Honestly, we have Torn. We have a bunch of badass characters, but honestly, I think Sig topped them all. I felt like he was someone that was just as strong as Jack in his own way. We never really got to see Torn's combat abilities, but Sig's, oh man, really good character. And he was a good friend. So, I don't know. He had a really good personality and everything. Badass to the core. This is Kira. Thanks for getting the artifacts, guys. It's strange. The time map had a bunch of old and it's raining with metalheads attacking the city we are going to be heading to kira uh oh yeah we're gonna be heading to kira right now i'll be seeing you guys there 
Let's see if I can just hijack a zoomer and head to the port. I'm probably going to head to the port and grab some ammo first. But I'll see you guys there. You know, this music doesn't really fit the tone of what's going on. And we've made it here. And wow, we got two symbols, but we're going to be heading to the wrench. Kira. Because she's ratchet. Ah, ah. The Rift Rider's finished. But if my father's right and the ring is somewhere in the metalhead nest, how are we going to get the Rift Rider there to use it? Look! Bruno just knew friends would need lift if metal letters attack. Bruno, you to me! Lucka balloons are finest lifters in world, but they is easy target. Right, you guys get the Rift Rider to the nest. I'll stay here and defend your takeoff and getaway. Once again, being your friend sucks. I want to go on the balloon. You keep stadium safe while we prep balloon for lift away. Oh no, here they come! Metal headers! Metal headers! All right, look at them using that green eco power, man. I love this. Am I going to have to use Dark Jack? I think I might have to. A lot of metal of gems. I might collect this. This is what deters you from the mission at hand. I want the gems. But unfortunately, I need to save these two. Come on, guys. You guys keep moving. Dark eco, please. A gem, please. I'll take the gem first. Oh, you guys are trying to chase me. Just get closer, please. Thank you. Thank you. Um, please, thank you. Please and thank you. Give me the head! Oh, someone's dying. Someone's dying. Someone's dying. Someone's dying. Now you need my expertise. Look at all these gems. Look at all these gems. And I can't get all of them because these guys are messing me up. One of them is almost dead also on top of that. I could end up hitting them. I don't want to hit them. I want the gems. I need the gems. Oh god. Come on everyone, bring it, bring it. I guess sacrifices must be made today. Get off of them, get off of them, get off of them! At least there's no friendly fire and I have Dark Jack. Put it on there, put it on there! Come on! floating away while we die down here we'll meet near the nest see you soon jack be careful yeah jack be careful just like old times huh jack the core construction site thank you vin you will be remembered and look at this guy it's just a little cool poster these always change but uh Look at us. So badass. I say this is Jack's best look. I didn't really like Jack 3's look of Jack that much. Um, it was an in-between of Jack 1 and 2. And then I didn't I didn't like Jack X's look of Jack. But Jack 2 and Jack 1 had the best versions of Jack. And, and anyway, I'll be seeing you guys at the Oracle. And then we're going to head out to the construction site. All right. See you guys there. And we have 216 Metalhead Gems. If you guys didn't know, fun fact, that's my lucky number. It really is 216. I remember this. Anyway, we're talking to the Oracle now. Let's see what we get. Now that you carry the weight of darkness on your shoulders, you alone cannot save us. Our last hope rests with one still untouched by pain, and you must protect this young soul in our moment of truth. I grant you another dark power. Oh yeah. Now this I can deal with. Look at me, I get to run out of the place invincible. Ah, ah. What are you talking about? I'm not a metalhead. <laughs> Wait, how many more gems do I need? Bring it. I'm a walking juggernaut tank. Right, wait, how many gems do I need, Oracle? Tell me. Ah. 100 metalhead skull gems. Okay. I see how it is. Can I get... The zoomers above me, I need to get to the construction site, guys! Hello? Okay, fine. I'll have to hijack one of you guys. No, 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 I'm taking this Crimson Guard zoomer. You're being an asshole, I'll take it. Alright guys, I'll see you at the construction site. And that was a very cool scene there, because very important words were spoken. 
All right, heading over here to the section of the city that I really rarely even touched during this thing. Wow, there's a ton of metalheads in this corner. Actually, this is a throwback to Daxter's game. This corner right here, the construction site. Look at this area. This whole area, this corner of the map was entirely in Daxter, which is pretty epic. So Daxter's area, which I may be adding into this Let's Play. Tell me if you guys want me to play Daxter towards the end or right after Jack 2, before Jack 3 or after Jack 3, basically, in this Let's Play. I'll do it for you guys if you guys want me to, just to make it the complete storyline. But anyway, here's the construction site. And this was also featured in Daxter in a very weird way. Heading up these stairs. Behind this door. Core, what's going on? I'm sure you know. Deep down in your darkest nightmares. We've met before, remember? Everything's going exactly as planned. <laughs> Now you see. Without the shield wall disrupting my powers inside the city, I am my full potential now. So for the last time, give me the precursor stone. The city must die, and we all die. Ah! I will find that stone if I have to crush this city one brick at a time. Supreme weapon, Jack. And I made you. Still, any leader worth his salt always has his backup plan. Remember, the first rule in making a bomb is to always make two. No! Okay, I'm going in. Man, what a mess of junk in here! All jumbled coils and switches! I unhook the blue wire? Wait a minute, are Otzel's colorblind? Let me just break a few more things and see if anything pops loose. Boom! <laughs> gotcha! Like candy from a baby. All right, now that we got the precursor stone over here lies the fabled Baron Praxis. Always make two bombs according to him. Why am I going to get a crotch shot? I don't know. Look at it. There's an insignia and everything. Let's get look at his head. This freaking camera has haunted me this entire Let's Play. Look at him. His moustache looks like something out of Super Mario Sunshine, but he created this. And the orb is taunting me over there. Hey, how come I don't get anything by jumping on the characters in this game? Come on. Come on. Like in the Forbidden Jungle? Well, yeah. You would have thought he would have been the end boss or something. No, we fought him so many times. It's time to give him a rest. See what I did there? All right, so precursor orb number one. And then there's precursor orb number two is back there somewhere, I think. Look at this stuff. Let's just explore the zone. The construction site. We never... It's a very brief site. There's the, um, the bomb. And what the hell is this thing? Got all this shit. Daxter explored this entire area, really, in his game. Everything was fixed up in Jack 2's time. And there it is. It's squeezed in between the stuff. So. Oh, God. We've gotten every single Precursor Orb so far. Basically, we only have seven more left. And they're inside the Metalhead Nest. And those, if you miss them, you'll never get them again. So, everything up to this point can be retrieved if you guys go back to the areas. The Metalhead Nest, however, is impossible to reach unless you glitch or some sort of way like that. Um, with that being said, wait, what's up here? I didn't even realize I can climb up here. What the hell? Oh, well, yeah, another fun fact in the HD collection, a lot of our collection, I don't know if it's all of them or just a few of ours or if it's most of them in that particular cutscene that we just witnessed, Core's face is going to be black. And normally what I did in the original Let's Play and I'm going to be doing in this one, by the time you guys see this episode, I'm going to have already probably beaten the game with precursor orbs and stuff um, by the time you see it. But what I'm going to have to do is get 125 precursor orbs, then get the 
the secret menu unlocked, you know, and unlock the cutscenes. And what I do is I take that cutscene after being able to view it. When you view it in the cutscene player, it's it's clear. But course face is black normally in the um in the game. So you basically just I just edit out the original and put in the clean one, and that's what makes it look like my copy of the game's fixed, but it's really not. So with that being said, we got a lot done this episode. I think now's the time to act. The metalheads are so focused on attacking the city, they may have left their nest vulnerable. Jack, you've gotta get out to the wasteland and breach the nest barrier any way you can. Maybe if you get inside and take out the metalhead leader, the army will collapse. It's a long shot, but it might be our only chance. No! Torn's instructions are right. We have to head to the metalhead nest. Ooh, pre peacemaker shot. Yes, I'll take this. In the wastelands. And yeah, there's our one way trip. We are running around with the precursor stone, so nobody shoot me. But anyway, guys. Thank you guys so much for all of your support and supporting me throughout this Let's Play. Make sure you guys smash that like button for me. Subscribe for more. Tell me in the comment section below, should I play Daxter before Jack 3, if at all? And uh, yeah, next time, we're going to be finishing off the story of this game. Until then, I'll be seeing you guys. Peace.